short instructional video on how to use the One Button Studio. First we will talk about what you will need, and then we'll talk about how the One Button Studio works. The One Button Studio is meant to make filming yourself very easy. I'm filming this instructional video right now on a One Button Studio, so you can see what an end result might look like. Before you arrive to the One Button Studio, you'll need to do a few things. First, you'll need to reserve the space. This can generally be done online, and you'll receive a confirmation email with the date and time of your appointment. You will also need to have a flash drive that has at least one gigabyte of space on it, and is formatted to FAT32 format. If you are presenting slides or other information, you will want to have those on a separate flash drive, or uploaded to cloud storage, like Box. Having a script that you rehearsed is recommended, but not required. Now, how the One Button Studio works. When you first enter the One Button Studio, it may not look much different than a regular video recording studio. You may notice lights, a camera, and a microphone. At the front of the room, there'll be a kiosk with two computer monitors, a small USB hub, and a silver button with a glowing light. To make the room come to life and have the lights, microphone, and camera turn on, we will need to plug in that USB drive that we brought with us into the USB hub at the front of the room. This is sort of like an on switch. When you plug it in, the lights, camera, and microphone will turn on. One of the monitors at the front of the room will switch from the One Button Studio instructions to show you what the camera is capturing. This is helpful in making sure that you don't step out of the camera's viewing area and that your shot is properly framed. Now you can decide where you want to stand. Many of the One Button Studios have tape on the floor indicating the best places to stand while filming. When you are ready, you can simply go to the front of the room and tap on that silver glowing button to start. You will receive a five second countdown until it begins to record. Now you can record for as little or as much time as you need. When you are finished recording, you will push down on the glowing silver button again. The recording will stop and the system will compress the video and save a copy to your flash drive. The file that is now on your flash drive is an MPEG-4 file, also known as an MP4 file. This can be watched on any computer, it can be uploaded directly to YouTube or Box, or it can be brought into editing software. There are some other options when using the One Button Studio. One of them is using the green screen. With more on that, here's Grant. At the back of the One Button Studio, you'll notice a gray background. You can use this to record your entire presentation if you'd like. However, if you would like to incorporate the green screen effect to change the background, either to a picture or a piece of footage, you can do that as well. You will need to turn on the One Button Studio as we have discussed, and then switch on the Reflect Media box by flipping the small silver switch to the left. The Reflect Media box is usually located on the kiosk in the room. This will turn on the green screen effect. You will not see the green screen appear behind you, but you will see the effect on preview in the primary monitor. Now you can record as usual in the One Button Studio. After recording, you will need to take your footage to an editing station and use software such as iMovie to place an image or footage in the background. Help with this can be found on the Media Commons website. Remember that you should avoid wearing green if you plan on using the green screen effect. And now, back to Carla, who will introduce our last recording option in the One Button Studio. The other option when using the One Button Studio is to have a presentation projected behind you while you're recording. To do this, you'll turn on the One Button Studio as we have already seen, but this time you're going to use the other monitor in the front of the room. On that monitor, you can open up a presentation from PowerPoint, Google Slides, Keynote, Prezi, or something similar. You will need to make sure that you turn on the projector in the front of the room by using the remote that is supplied there. When you are ready, you'll simply record as you normally would in the One Button Studio. Many spaces supply a remote to help advance slides while you're recording in the One Button Studio. Make sure to ask about this remote when you arrive for your appointment. That completes this instructional video on the One Button Studio. If you have any questions, please visit the One Button Studio website the Media Commons website, or contact Media Commons through our hotline. Thank you for watching.